What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to Today's Tech with Lando where I bring you guys a brand new perspective on your favorite pieces of tech. Now, yo, today I'm coming in hot with my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 and it's actually a very exciting upgrade since it's been about two years since we've had a brand new physical rotating bezel but it is back and i now know for sure that i prefer a physical bezel as opposed to the touch bezel on the active series but anyway first things first let's get the specs out of the way and then i want to talk about the design of this thing so the galaxy watch 3 i have here is the 45 millimeter variant in mystic black Sadly, the Mystic Bronze is limited to the smaller 41 millimeter model and it has an officially pink colored band. But on the 45 millimeter, we're looking at a 1.4 inch AMOLED display protected by Gorilla Glass DX and it's packing one gig of RAM and eight gigs of storage. Sounds like a flagship from 10 years ago. Uh, but they both come bearing IP68 water and dust certification and a military grade durability. Now, they're both rocking the latest Wi-Fi and Bluetooth tech, and they both come in 4G or Bluetooth variants. All right, now with all that out of the way, let's talk about the design. At first glance, you immediately notice the slimmer profile and, and minimal design language compared to the original Galaxy Watch or the Gear S3 even, which is, I would say, a, a very welcome change, making it look a lot more like a traditional timepiece, like, you know, the Rolex Datejust. The border surrounding the display is numbered and it just adds a real authentic flair. Uh, and the display has a nice depth to it because of the rotating bezel as opposed to the Active 2, which I definitely enjoyed, but there's nothing like the satisfying ultra premium feel of rotating the bezel. Let me know if you guys prefer the touch bezel or the physical bezel down below the subscribe button but they've really tightened it up and it enhances the feel of using it and the bezel itself has some very subtle ridges that give just enough grip for rotating and if you take a closer look at the back button samsung has actually etched galaxy watch into the button itself similar to the rolex and i think it's a nice touch but the buttons are also very nice and, and premium feeling they don't click too easily making it feel kind of tacky and both variants come standard with a premium genuine leather band to complete that overall premium stature of Galaxy Watch 3. Okay, so the display itself is really, really bright and the viewing angles are seemingly endless. And since we're talking about the display, Samsung has blessed us with a significant upgrade to the watch faces. So now there's like up to 40 complications that you can add to the face depending on the style. And that goes from day counters and personalized messages to shortcuts to workouts. And of course, there's new faces as well. And one thing I mentioned in my review of the Active 2 was the lack of true always on faces, but both Galaxy Watch 3s have full color always on OLED display, so most of them actually look very complimentary in always on mode. And as far as software goes, Galaxy Watch 3 is running One UI 2.0 and Tizen 5.5, and you'll notice some subtle enhancements aside from the watch faces, like if you're looking at any sensitive information or really any you know information other than the watch face itself and you turn your watch away it actually blurs the screen which is a nice addition giving you a little bit more privacy but there's also some new features provided by the eight pulse reading photo diodes that make up the sensor underneath and of course that's for the enhanced heart rate and sleep tracking and blood oxygen monitoring the more advanced features like blood pressure and electrocardiography monitoring are currently limited to Samsung's home country of South Korea. They're still awaiting approval from the FDA in the US and they have been since they promised that these features would arrive in Q1. But in any case, Samsung has taken a major step in the direction of health, especially by including fall detection as well. And paired with the revamped Samsung Health app, there's tons of workouts to track, so I'm definitely digging it. And lastly, battery life seems to be doing okay as well. Yesterday, I tested it with always on mode, and I was at about 66% at the end of the day. So I wouldn't try and stretch it to two days if you're interested in always on mode, but I think with the mode off, I think we'll be able to get to two days of battery life. But we'll have to wait and see, and I'll let you guys know in my full review. 
But yeah, overall, I would say Galaxy Watch 3 can be classified as an excellent smartwatch. One, due to the premium fit and finish, but also because of the software and health tracking enhancements. In fact, I think these enhancements bring Samsung's smart timepiece a lot closer to Apple's. Again, I just wish the Mystic Bronze color was available for the 45 millimeter variant so I could Mystic Bronze all the things. But either way, I'm excited to continue testing and I'll be sure to report back my findings in my review. So definitely stay tuned for that. And my Galaxy Buds Live just arrived from Amazon, so I'll be dropping my first impressions very, very soon. So make sure that you guys have your notifications turned on so that you don't miss anything over the coming weeks. And if you thought this video was dope, then drop a like below and hit that subscribe button to help me reach 5,000 subs by the end of the year. Alrighty guys, again, thank you very, very much for watching and stay safe out there. Peace and love.